Hi, it's Denine, and I'm wearing a t-shirt today with a simple message of love because I believe in the two commandments that Jesus Christ gave us to love God first with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength, and to, and to love others as ourselves, even our enemies. So this is a channel that you can come to to be encouraged. This is a channel you can come to where I'm not going to sow discord. This is a channel that you can come to where I'm not going to lead you into condemnation. But this is a channel that you can come to where you can be built up in the holy faith and have confidence in the one who God sent to pay for our sins, Jesus Christ. That he paid for our sins when he died on the cross and he rose again to new life that we may also partake in that new life. And so, yes, I, I want, I want to, to just share the joy in my heart right now because I just believe so strongly that we are the final generation. I mean, I'm excited because when you look around at all that is going on in the world, I mean, it is, it is amazing that we live in a time such as this, that out of all the generations that he has you and then he has me, that we were chosen to be in this generation and to be living in a time such as this. And um, so, yeah, it, it, is, it is quite remarkable. And, um, you know, I just believe so, so strongly, you know, that the mystery being revealed, that it's Christ in you. And so with Christ being in us and Christ being the light of the world, that that we're out in the world as as his light beings you know that that we are the ones who need to stand up uh, and be set apart that we're the ones who have to show love and compassion and, and mercy on others because there's so much just immorality and um, moral decay just the world just crumbling around us and so you know we um, we band together as Christians united in one cause and to you know to, to show and and the love you know and like just like that and the outpouring of faith and I believe you know Jesus Christ he is still on the move you know he is in the business of saving souls and and he is still out there doing it you know, take for instance you know the the clips that we just saw now, I don't see that as a big nothing burger because how amazing that God had put a sign in the sky that had millions of people just looking up <laughs> including even the unbelievers they were everybody looking up I mean his handiwork in the sky and uh, I was talking to a lady who had told me that her 15 year old son was so impacted by the eclipse that it, it just changed his whole perspective. He said he will, he will not see life the same again and that he believes in God now. And I was just like, hallelujah, because hopefully there were more that were able to partake in that and, and are, are coming to Christ right now. Because um, you know I, I believe that, uh, that Jesus, he, he's still on the move. And so there, there may still, you know, be people coming to Christ right now. And um, I know that when I first came to Christ, I would check into my, my, some of my favorite channels who would give me encouragement. And, uh, and I really appreciated that. So like, I, I kind of want to do the same that if you've um, recently come to Christ, if you're a babe, if you're new, that um, you can come here and, and you can, you can be loved and that, you know, and you can hear the truth because there is a, a lot, there are a lot of, um, false doctrines out there. There are, you know, wolves in sheep's clothing, just like Jesus himself said would be. But, you know, to, to take heart that, you know, Jesus Christ, um, he loves you. <laughs> and um, there's no condemnation for you when you're in Christ Jesus. I mean, the enemy is going to try to bring on an attack. He's going to try to um, attack your faith because, it, that's that's the thing that pleases God the most, right? Is your faith because it's impossible to please God without it. I mean, God wants wants your faith, and so this is what the enemy is going to try to to come against. He's going to try to to get you to be so confused and and everything. But um, nope, you have to you have to stand fast in your and hold on to the faith that you know that Christ is good and that and He loves you and that He died to save you, and so. We have to keep our minds focused on, on the goodness of Christ and that there is no condemnation. But I mean, you may read passages in the Bible that sound a little bit scary, but that's not for you, believer. It's for the sons of disobedience that the wrath of God is reserved for. 
um, he will bring a recompense to the world, you know, that he's going to abolish the sin that's in the world eventually. I mean, he he's going to do that, but that's not for you if you are in Christ. And as I was reading uh, the Psalms this morning, Psalm 34, verse 22, it says, The Lord redeems the soul of his servants, and none of those who trust in him shall be condemned. So the question is, are you trusting in him? Because when you are, I mean, you could have the confidence to stand boldly before his throne of grace, knowing that, you know, that, that God doesn't see your sin anymore. He sees Jesus, his son, because you've accepted the free gift of salvation that he provided and that you will be sealed you know, with his Holy Spirit. When that Holy Spirit sets in, I mean, he's like your best friend and he is going to lead and guide you into all spiritual truth. And so as a newbie in Christ, I want to encourage you to, to just keep, keep strong and keep enduring um, that this is an amazing time to be alive and that we can trust it. And I, I know, uh, like, even a lot of my own family members, they, they tell me I'm brainwashed. And, and I have to agree in a way, like, yeah, okay, I am brainwashed because I'll admit, I wash my brain with the Word of God every day. I mean, this is how you hear His voice. This is how you experience His joy. And this is how you, you, you know, grow your faith. And, um, and, and the Lord had brought to mind me, like, when I was a younger lady, how... I had made a profession of faith in God. I said I would never deny that God was real because I, I wasn't an atheist. But there was so much that I had yet to learn because I, I hadn't been born again yet. And um, having been born again, he was showing me the contrast between the faith that I have now and the faith that I had then. And the faith that I have now is active. You know, I, I'm living my faith right now. There's been a, ha a, a heart transformation when that Holy Spirit came in. And so as, as someone who lives her faith, you know, I, I, I motivated to love and serve others and in doing so, you know, I, I just want to please the father because I believe and I believe in all the promises, you know, he had said it's, it, you know, all who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So we have to, we have to call, we have to make the profession with our mouth and believe it in our hearts. Let it be, you know cemented in your heart that all these things are true and that his second coming is also true. I mean, even if the unbelievers say it's not going to happen and they want to mock and scoff at it, it doesn't mean that it's not still going to happen because it will. And we have confidence in that because all the prophecies of Jesus Christ's first coming all came to pass right on time, just the way that the word said it would. And so we could have confidence in knowing that his second coming is going to be the same right on time, just the way that it is, is stated in, in, the, in the Bible. So with that, it, it just brings about this tremendous excitement in me. And the, I don't, you don't have to fear it. I mean, I, I can't tell you how many people I've told Jesus is coming and they, and they kind of go, well, that, that's scary. And I'm like, it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be scary. You can you can see that as a blessed hope and have confidence in it. Like, I, I I think it would be scary if you are not in Christ, if you don't believe, if you're rejecting the Son of God and the and the only way to be reconciled back to the Father. If you're denying that, then yeah, you have every reason to be scared. If if you're denying it, right? <laughs> because if you deny Jesus, then you die in your sins. And if you die in your sins, you're going to be separated from God for all eternity. That, yes, I will, I'll agree with you. That would be scary. But if you are in Christ, if you've already been born again, if you know the presence of the Holy Spirit is working in you, then you can have that confidence to, to believe that you, that the good work he started in you, that he will bring it to completion and that you don't have to worry that you are sealed and that you are his forever and that he what he has in store for us oh, it is going to be so amazing and think that jesus you know he said i go to prepare a place for you in my father's house are many mansions i mean can you uh, he's going to take us to the father's house i mean can you only imagine how spectacular the father's house is i mean if he is the creator of all things and he's created all this can you imagine his house which is unblemished undefiled 
I mean, holy and set apart that without sin. I mean, it, that house has to be like amazing. And that's where I want to go. <laughs> and I believe and I trust in the, the one who, ma who made the way possible, Lord Jesus Christ. And so I just want to encourage you, you all that, you know, he, he is coming. Um, and the way that the world looks right now, I mean, it sure looks like it's on the horizon. I, I can't tell you how much time we have left, but I can tell you that it has to be soon because, you know, God is long suffering. And I've said this before, but he's not forever suffering. Things will happen. And, um, and the people left behind, they're, they're going to be in darkness. They're going to be under God's feet. But it's in his mercy because that is going to be the biggest wake-up call for all those who sat on the fence or all those who wanted to deny or all those who just wanted to have pleasure in this life. For all those who didn't want to believe and for all those who didn't want to make Jesus Christ their Lord and Savior and live for him. But, you know, his burden is light. What he to live for Christ is to is to go out and love <laughs> and serve. I mean, that that is that is a light burden, you know, that we would love each other. And so, yep, there you have it. I, I'm I won't make this too long. I just wanted to, to come out as the Holy Spirit moves me and um, just tell you all that I'm really looking forward to spending eternity with all my brothers and sisters in Christ in the Father's house. And um, yep, I extend my love to all. Hope to see you in the cloud soon. Maranatha.